This is going to be a bit of a state of play video blog. Uh, and it's really interesting, even for people who are not getting to vote and don't even live in Britain and don't even know who Jeremy Corbyn is for the following reason. Corbyn is on a roll because he's appealing to this mass of people who have suddenly joined the Labour Party uh, and want it to become a kind of campaigning, anti-austerity, social justice party. We know that because we know roughly who's turning up. The problem for the other candidates, the Labour establishment, they don't really have any connection to or organic and spontaneous appeal to these hundreds of thousands of people who've turned up to join the party. So the tactics are everything. The plan was with Liz Kendall that she would be the candidate of the Blairites, but there would be a kind of double whammy and that she'd also include uh, some of the rhetoric and some of the people of what is known as Blue Labour. That is the working class, uh, sceptical about migration, um, sort of slightly more wanting to appeal to people who voted UKIP type uh, wing of the party. But that wing doesn't seem to have turned up and it's left Kendall as a sort of left-right campaign just really um, not working. And that leaves the other two candidates with the following problem. What the anybody but Corbyn camp wants, and this is most of the Labour establishment, is a candidate everybody else can rally around. And logically, because he had uh, the momentum at the start, it should be Andy Burnham, but it looks terrible because then that would leave two women pulling out. But politically, it's very difficult for it to be Burnham for the reason that until Corbyn arrived with his two last minute uh, nominations at five minutes before the nominations closed, the unions and the left of the party were all getting ready to support Burnham. And Burnham has, in fact, made lots of signals and lots of, uh, not so much promises, but, you know, uh, moves and political pledges that effectively place him to the left of where even many of the Labour establishment want to be. And this is why the Guardianisters have gone for Yvette Cooper and why it would be logical for the anybody but Corbyn campaign to uh, cohere around Yvette Cooper and yet you have the problem of Yvette Cooper not being able to summon up uh, tens of thousands of new members to join Labour, still less uh, students to clamber in through windows uh, because they can't get in because the rallies are full. Here on Channel 4 News, the politics and economics team will be covering the Labour leadership election until you are sick of it. Why do you think people who voted Conservative in 2015 will suddenly vote for a Socialist in 2020? Because everyone wants to live in a decent society.